What is up everybody? Hungry Cabagon here. Got something a little bit random to show you today. Um, I bought these a really long time ago and I've never got around to opening them. Uh, I thought I would do it today. Um, so they're these Pint Size Heroes Street Fighter version. I actually bought one of these a long, long time ago uh, in Japan, which is why it's got like the Japanese writing on the back, which is annoying. I tried to peel this so you could see what's on there. Um, and when I was in Australia, at Christmas time, I also bought one. Uh, this one, thankfully, doesn't have any sticker on the back, so we can see who we can get. So, um, you got like the majority of your standard characters. It looks like they're all even odds. It says one of 12. Uh, would like to get Mr. E Honda. He's pretty good. Like some Blanca. He's cool. Um, but yeah, I was kind of feeling him a bit as you do and I feel like I feel like I can feel some hair here in this one so I'm gonna predict that this one is gonna have Akuma in there is that his name in English? I think so, Akuma I think it's gonna be him in this one and this one, my prediction can feel feels like it could be a mohawk so I'm thinking we might have Mr. Zangief in this one but I'm not sure obviously uh, some of these things you can really like feel them like the little Lego minifigures and stuff and you're like obviously that one is this one but um, sometimes it's just like oh I wasn't the one I expected so <laughs> let's open the Japanese one first because I got this one a long time ago they're exactly the same um, these things are made by Funko that's the ones that make pop finals right I think so anyway I th what did I say this one was I think this is going to be Zangief all right so let's see if my prediction was correct. Dun, 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 dun. It was. It's Mr. Zangief. Awesome. All right, hold on. When I bought these ones in Japan, like they were behind the counter, so you couldn't feel them and see which one's which, unfortunately. Oh, there is secret ones. Look at that. Exclusive. Oh, there's Dalsim. Why don't they have these on the back? Alright, so these are rarer ones, 1 in 24, so I guess that's what you want. Um, yeah, they they often have these things behind the counter in Japan, so you can't, <laughs> you can't feel them and see what's in there, um, because people obviously will do that. Um, he's pretty cool looking, quality's not bad, the painting on the beard is not perfect, but the little like decals on the chest and the, the legs and stuff are really good. Yeah, I could feel the mohawk. That's what I could feel. I thought that was definitely going to be him. Pretty cool. I like that. Um, I think when I bought it in Japan, it was like 400 yen. so about $4. But the one I bought in Australia was only $2. They were on sale. But they were usually $8 in Australia. So we get super ripped off on those kind of things in Australia. But anyway, I think, I'm thinking this one is going to be uh, Akuma. But let's see. If so, I'm like a psychic. I should I should do this more often. Boom! I was right. Yeah, I could feel that hair. Yeah, he looks cool. That is a nice looking one. He looks very angry. He looks very mean. He's got the nice hair. Oh, he's got the, uh, the kanji on the back. The heaven kanji. Which is weird, because isn't he like a demon? Akuma means demon. So, yeah. I don't know. That's interesting. I don't know. I don't know what the deal with that is. Maybe he's got a bit of a heaven and hell vibe going on. This is going to be the same. Because... Yeah. Who is this blue and white guy? A uh, blue and white. Blue and red guy. I don't know who that is. I'm not familiar with that character. Anyway, so we didn't get like a super rare one. But we did get the two that I was expecting. Which is kind of funny. I predicted. But it was, it was pretty easy to predict based on... Uh, feeling them so these guys can square off against each other we got a bit of like russian wrestling versus like demon karate or whatever kind of martial art he does pretty awesome i could go for some more of these i don't know what do you think are they interesting i kind of like them it's like a mini pop vinyl it's like a really small one so it's kind of cool and kind of cheap and i like the the mystery aspect of it as always so i'm pretty happy with that got two nice ones so, um, anyway guys, let me know what you think about these. Um, check out the channel for more videos. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. 
and we will see you in the next one. Take it easy.